Welcome to Blender Frenzy. I am Justin, and this clip is taken from my Old Man Justin series, where I make myself look like an old man. Uh, but this clip is adapted from that, just about the color grading. It's a quick crash course on color grading in Blender's in Blender's video sequence editor. If you want to check out the series, uh, you can go to my playlist, Old Man Justin. There's about five tutorials plus a couple of other videos in there. And if you want to follow along with the tutorial, you can come here to gumroad.com slash Blender Frenzy. Come to your freebies and you can sign up for Frenzy freebies. You can Now you can pay me $2 a month or just use the discount code freebie for $0 per month. And I will charge you exactly $0 per month. And here's the old man, Justin. We've got the files here. We've got old man tracked. We got the original footage. We got the final render. You get the image sequence of the old man face already painted. You don't have to worry about that. Just set all these things up. You can also download some of my other stuff here. I'm going to continue to add the freebies. Yep, but just so you know, you can come here and do that if you want to follow along. The color isn't right uh, because I opened up a new version of Blender, so we want to go down to color management and change that to standard. And this is what we have. Hi, welcome to Blender Frenzy. My name is Justin. And this morning I woke up and now I'm old. If we do shift and then right click, you can scrub over each of these strips just to see what that is showing. So this is what we see on that. So if I click this strip, I can come over to our modifiers and then add a strip modifier and do a color balance like this and then I can adjust the colors here. So uh, gamma and gain are gonna be the two that you're gonna want to use. Uh, the lift uh, doesn't really help us in this situation. I mean, maybe slightly. Uh, I don't even know if I changed it from the original. But uh, gamma, let's, let's bring up the gamma here a little bit. Okay. And then we'll bring down the gain here. Okay, so that's not Let's bring up the gain a little bit and bring down the gamma. Okay. Um, and maybe adjust this as well here. But we want to find a good, like, happy medium to where it kind of matches uh, the color and the lighting as much as possible. So you can also change the colors here to be something different so that looks like it matches a little bit better to my skin here um, let's see what this one does uh, that one doesn't seem to really help so I'm not going to do that but let's brighten this up here a little bit uh, we can also add different modifiers here so we can add curves a hue correct um, brightness and let's do this let's try hue correct uh, just bring some of these yellows and oranges and reds uh, in the saturation we'll bring that those down in saturation yeah that's good I mean it doesn't look that good but what's gonna help us with is if we now can now we can adjust these a little bit better so you can see you have um, a lot of like fine control over these. And if you want to see what it looks like without it, just click this eye. Uh, same thing here. You know, that might be too much um, or desaturation. So we'll bring these back up a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. So that's that actually looks a lot better now. Okay. Yeah. And something that you can do to make your color grading a little bit easier is if you come over here, drag out a new window, and then let go, and then line these up. You might have to mess with both of them just to get them to where when you move one, it's moving both of them now. Um, and then you can either collapse into here. If you don't want to collapse the whole thing and you want to keep your properties here a little bit, what you can do is drag out a new properties window and then just drag this one into that. So now we can drag that out and we still have access to our properties here so i'm going to drag that all the way up and we already have our sequencer which is what we want but we can't see our modifiers so let's just pull this out until we can 
And here are the sequencer properties. If we click modifiers, ta-da! And we can come over here, press N to hide those. And now we have a better properties bar. So we don't have to scroll so much in a tiny little area over here. A couple of other tips here is that you can collapse these like this. And this is kind of like layers in Photoshop or GIMP. Um, and if you're also familiar with the 3D view in Blender, the modifier stack. But it's like a stack. So you can move these up and down by clicking these buttons here. And currently, uh, this doesn't really do much, but uh, you can add in other stuff, and it might change the color slightly. And you don't only have to have one of these. You can actually add as many as you want. So we can add two color balance thingamajiggers here, and, you know, mess with them however we want. Ooh, that's gross. Um, my face, that is. And the color was bad, too. <laughs> uh, so... Just messing with this. And then if you move this up through the stack, you can see that the color might change a little bit. Seeing if it does. It does ever so slightly <laughs> with our settings here. But I'm gonna get rid of that with X and then come here. Let's do let's try a brightness and contrast. And we have that being really contrasty. And then let's move that up and then up again. So you can see how it changes just slightly. So all that to say is if you're not getting the look that you're going for, uh, try moving these around the stack and seeing if you get any better results. I'm going to get rid of that. Let's look a little bit more at the hue correct. Uh, we have the saturation, which we've already messed with a little bit here, but we also have hue and value. So hue is the color. So if we take this color and we move it, we're going to be changing that color. So it'll no longer be red. It'll be a different color. <laughs> now you can't see what color it is going to be on here. You have to just look and see what your result is here. But good thing with these modifiers is that they are part of the undo stack. So if I do control undo, I can just bring that back to the way it was. Same thing if I bring in a color balance and I mess up with stuff here and then I decide, no, I don't want that. And I get rid of it. And then I think, oh no, I didn't mean to get rid of that one. I wanted to get rid of this one. Well, just undo and it comes back and then we can get rid of the one we want. So that's the hue. We can also change the value. Now the value is how light or dark a certain color is. So you can play with this to get to match the footage of how light or dark certain colors are supposed to be. And you have a lot of fine-tuned control with this here. Now, if you want to change all of them at once, something that you can do, I'm just going to bring in another hue correct to show you this here. Uh, we will hide this one. Uh, but let's say we want to change the saturation for the whole thing. We don't want to do it for just you know, one color. We want to do it for everything. What we can do is select and then shift select all of these points in between here. And then hit this X to delete them. So now we have two points. And then we can select and move these down more uniformly. That way you don't have to drag a whole bunch of them down at the same time. Now we can't drag both of these at the same time, unfortunately. But we can click and drag just two of them. There we go. I'm just eyeballing it now. Of course, you can move this slider here for the X and the slider for the Y. Like that. You can do that for both any of them. Just make sure it's selected. All right, let's get rid of this. You also have your curves here that you can mess with. So the C is for k all of them. <laughs> um, so yeah, so this is going to be your light and darkness and all of that stuff. Whatever kind of curves. I'm not a mathematician. <laughs> I just move points around and I just look and see if they look good on the screen. Um, okay, so that looks terrible. We can delete those like that too. Uh, bring these top ones in like this. If you want to have different effects. We can also isolate color channels. So this is the red color channel. And so, pew, bring that down or up. Oh, actually, that <laughs> that slightly matches it a little bit better, I think. Yeah. You know what? I'm going to keep that. That's 
Yeah, that's a happy little accident there. Let's um, move this. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> cool. Now I'm going to go ahead and uh, hide everything else by pressing Shift H. Now you can see that the mask that I've created could be feathered in here a little bit better. That's not for this tutorial, that's something completely different. And click the link in the description if you want to see the full old man tutorial. But something that I can do here is let's go ahead and select everything and then Alt H to unhide. I want to hide this one here though. What we can do instead is select our old man face and then come up to strip and then just bring down that opacity just a little bit. And as I bring that down, I don't want to bring it down too much, but as you can see, it's um, blending in those edges a little bit more. So maybe something like, let's see what's too far. Obviously that's too far. We'll bring that up. Maybe 0.9. So I'm just going to put 0.9 here. Now I obviously haven't removed these tracking markers on the face. Um, that's something that you'll want to do. Uh, and so if you don't have those tracking markers on the face underneath the footage, like I do here, then um, you can actually go further with this and it will blend in with your skin a little bit better. Um, but that doesn't look too bad so far. All right, so yeah, we're getting somewhere, but let's say you want to make adjustments to the whole thing. Now, now that we've got our old man face all set. We want to make the whole thing maybe a little bit warmer or cooler with the colors. Now I could come to my footage here and same thing, go to my modifiers. I can add in a color balance or any of the modifiers and adjust those here. But you can see that it's not adjusting the old man face because this is just our footage. But if we want it to affect both of those or anything that we have here in the preview, we can add in something called an adjustment layer. So hover your mouse over here, shift A, and then choose adjustment layer and bring it up or down and put it above your footage. Now it doesn't need to be right above it. It can be as far above it as Blender will let it go. I'm going to put it here and then come to strip and then change the blend mode to alpha over. And now with it still selected, just come to modifiers, add strip modifier, and then color balance. And now when I add a change here to the color, it's going to change the whole thing. And it's also going to affect the old man face, not just the footage. And so maybe I want to do something like this where I make this just a little bit cooler of a feel ever so slightly, making it a little bit crisper. So if I mute this, you can see maybe there's too much orange or too much red in here and I get rid of that. And now it's a little bit crisper. Then maybe that's maybe a little bit too blue. I'm going to hold my shift down. You can hold shift down to go slower and be a little bit more accurate. Just a very subtle change, but you can see, yeah, I like this. It just gives it a little bit more clear, crisp kind of look to it. And then I can still come here and adjust these as I want. So I still have total control over the individual ones. I can even do it with the footage and add more modifiers here. Um, but this adjustment layer is going to affect everything that's below it. So if I move my old man face above it, the adjustment layer doesn't affect anything that's above it. As you can see that. So it has to be below it and of course uh, it has to be on the adjustment layer. So you can see where it's not, it just goes back to normal. So let's just stretch these out, snap these here by pressing control, and now it's over our, all, our whole footage here. So there you go, that's a quick crash course on color grading in Blender's video sequence editor. Be sure to check out the full Old Man series. I'll leave links to it in the description. And remember, you can get all of the files to follow along with this at the Frenzy Freebies at my Gumroad. So until next time, happy editing.